Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back just doing Hebram. He's not joking these days. Remember that in a past interview, she had talked about how she was not so much of a fashion person and even her husband is more fashionable and stylish than her. But these days, Tony is changing the stories. Well, there has been a lot of reactions as Tony Hebram now shut down the social media with her stunning outfits. Just some hours ago, she uploaded some photos and short video of her latest outfit. She was rocking a nicely designed royal blue Ashoke okay, outfit. We are to her stunning outfit. Fans have held this model to for a high sense of fashion and excellence in style. These days, Tony has been consistent with her back to back with her fashionable lifestyle and she has proven to be a very beautiful woman yet again, rocking mostly Yoruba attires. These are some of the reactions. A user who goes by the name Aphrodite says Tony is not joking these days. Mobile Lack like Food says, I just love your spirit. Story. God continually bless you and yours. Rita Woma, wow, Mama killed the show. I love you, man. Remember, this is the guy that Tony Abraham just adopted fully as the mother in the entertainment industry just some days ago. Rita Woma. And another one by the name Blue Exclusive Roots, giving us back to back. Ocean Vendors and Roots. Oh, oh. What an epitome of beauty. I am fixity wrote, see my mama ever pretty and shining. But Ali additional, mommy, you always look gorgeous. Just a few days ago, this actress also stunned her fans and friends on social media when she stepped out for a movie premiere in another rich and exquisite actual captioning the photo all out tonight, adorned in the richness and exquisiteness of our show. Okay? serving that premium and rich Yoruba anti-vibes. For Khan's money premier, bling bling team. She be you know more. If it is not a show okay, it is not prestige. Meanwhile, in another news, Tony Hebram also motivated the fans not to be frustrated by the glitter on social media. Just take it as entertainment and also as a way of you adding to yourself. The popular Yoruba actress Tony Hebram gave her fans who might be on the verge of giving up some hope with her recent post. This movie star in a lengthy note on her social media platform explained how she came to realize that life was not easy and how a person could start to feel hopeless once they have not achieved a lot at a certain age. She said that God in not create people to live another person's life, but to live just to the fullest. As Tony added that it was easy to compare yourself to others, but that people should not let the glitzy life on social media frustrate them. She also encouraged people who were struggling with self-doubt not to give up because God still had plans for them. And in her exact words, Yobama Sokbe Olon Ruda Bubuabakana, and it is why I've come to realize that God didn't create all of us to live one another's lives, but to live to the fullest. The life he wants for every one of us individually. I know we live in a world where it is so easy to daily compare our lives to other people's. But the truth is, there is no wisdom in letting social media glitter and glamour frustrate you into giving yourself the permission to put yourself down and convince you that you're not doing well enough. Believe me, I know that life's not easy. I know that you feel like you're growing older and you haven't even achieved one quarter of the things that you planned for your life. I know you're done with school and there is no job yet for some people. I know that sometimes you do feel like everybody's moving forward and you're being left behind. I know that you're tired of being your supporter, friend, encourager. I know you feel exhausted. But don't give up. Everything is going to be alright. Life is not a smooth sailing boat. And you've got to trust that even in your present labor, God still has plans for you. You're not a mistake. A little Marikishi Ashishi, life doesn't hate you and neither are you better off dead. Only the living can be hopeful. Don't let the troubles of now tell you that tomorrow will never be any different. Focus more on yourself than you are invested in other people's being and living. Nobody deserves your attention more than you. All the attention you give to wishing up for other people's lives. Pour it into yourself. Ask yourself, am I underutilizing my potentials? Am I self-sabotaging? Can I improve my skills and develop myself for better opportunities? Trust God with all of your heart. Be grateful for all that you have, have and can afford. One thing comprising never fails to do is that it blocks your sense of gratitude. It tells you that there is nothing to be grateful for, but it is a lie. Gratitude opens new doors. Stop wallowing in self-pity. Stop hating on you. This was the lovely message she shared on her social media platform. Oluwa Tony Abraham, as mentioned earlier, is known popularly for her comic roles and also for her blockbuster movies. Some of her movies include Fate of Alakada, The Party Planner 2020, JFE 2020, Small Chops 2010 20, Elevator Baby 2019, 
Don't get mad, get even 2019, made in heaven 2019, the millions 2019, Casanova 2019, Bling Legotions 2019, Nimby 2019, The Ghost and Tao 2018. Seven and a half dates, 2018, these guys, 2018, what just happened, 2018, Alakada will do 2017, Esui, 2017, Hakunde, 2017, Mentally, 2017, Tattoo, 2017, Lord of Fever, 2017, Wives and Shroud the Revolution, 2017, Celebrity Marriage, 2017, Okafo's Law, 2016, what makes you think, 2016, Love's on the Hair, 2016, Alanibu Abalabake, 2013, a B mini 2013, Alakara 2013, Ashola Felt by me, among others. The very first movie that Tony had an appearance in was titled Dube Dube Mbo. This was produced by Bookie Wright, a popular Yoba actress, and it was produced in Tony's place of birth in Ibadan, you know, your state. Tony was born Oluwa Tony Aimaku in Ibadan, and she actually was born and bred. She grew up in Ibadan. She started her education from Queen Staff School, then St. Anne's School, Ibadan. Thereafter, she proceeded to Ray Polytechnic in Oshun State for a national diploma in business studies. She also attended the Olabi Shonabanyo University and backed the degree in philosophy before returning to Ray Polytechnic for an HND in marketing. Tony is the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to hawk to support her family. She used to hawk plantain chips, bakery, those days. And she has been very vocal about her background and even her journey. She is happily married to the popular Yuba actor, director and producer Olawole Ajiyemi. They had their engagement in July 2019, their traditional engagement. And these two welcomed their first child in August 2019. However, Tony is also a mother to Kalawale Ajemi's teenage daughter who goes by the name Timmy Tope Ajemi. It was three years ago that Tony changed her name from Tony Aimaku to Tony Abraham and she also celebrated the faithfulness of God this year for that name change. As mentioned earlier, she began acting in 2003 but then didn't take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. When Tony started acting in movies, she began to stay in other films after the Bedu Bimbo and she began to stand all the films until she rose to start up. As she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced is Ala Jota and she also had plans to produce Ala Jota Reloaded. She's a multiple award winning actress who this year alone has won two major awards, Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards and Best Actress in Africa, Africa Magic Girls Choice Awards, AMVC 2020. Our other awards include Best Supporting Actress Tattoo, Africa Magic Girls Choice Awards, AMVC 2018, Best Actress Alakada Reloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, Lord 2017, The Best Female at Nigeria Entertainment Awards, NEA 2017, The Best Actress in Nolu Mokli All Youth Awards, Maya 2017, The Best Supporting Actress Feature Film, Hakunde Far Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Indigenous Actress Nigeria Entertainment Awards 2014, Best Actress Alakada Ben TV Awards 2014, among others. We have come to the end of this episode. We have fans we act as Tony Abraham shut down social media. It has turned in a show key out to it. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.